Hi there! I just wanted to make this quick video about this GPT Pi Decorator GitHub repository that I created. So recently OpenAI released some updates to their ChatGPT API and they added this function calling capability. So this means that you can define a function in your code that does something like connects to an API or something and then you can describe the function to ChatGPT so that it then knows that it can call this function if it wants to. For example here to get the weather information of some location. And then you have to actually call that function and then pass the results to ChatGPT. Now I saw a video about this from Sendex and in the comments somebody made a great suggestion, if I can find it still, here. It should be possible to write a Python library that automatically extracts GPT function specs from functions with doc strings. Perhaps an at OpenAI decorator would be cool. So I decided to create exactly that. So this is that repository. So here's how it works. You just have to first import the Py decorator in your Python code, like this. Then you can define your functions in your actual Python code and you just add at OpenAI func to it and make sure to have types and this doc string here. And then you can call get OpenAI funcs to get all of the functions that have been defined like this. And then you can just pass in the get OpenAI funcs to this functions parameter of the chat completion API of OpenAI. So here's an example. I have my test.py here. So I just import the Py decorator and then I define here an OpenAI function add numbers and OpenAI function say hello. And then I print the get OpenAI funcs. So if I run this, if I say test.py, then it returns this dictionary with all the data. Now I also created this chatbot.py, which is a bit more complicated, but here I am defining a get current weather function and I decorate it with OpenAI func again and it gets the current weather information. And then if you don't provide a location, it says a location must be provided. Otherwise it will right now just return the weather is nice and sunny. And then I created this, OpenAI func, recommend YouTube channel. <laughs> and the description is gets a really good recommendation for a YouTube channel to watch. And of course returns a really good YouTube channel. And then I created this, calculate string length, which calculates the length of a string. And then I created this quick chatbot function that will send the completion and get the OpenAI funks. So now I can run chatbot and it will say go ahead ask for the weather, a YouTube channel recommendation or to calculate the length of a string. So I can say something, I just say hello and it will respond in the normal chat GPT way. Hi, how can I assist you today? And then if I say what's the weather like? Then it will say sure I can help with that but could you please provide me with the location? Weather in Boston. And then it will tell me the weather in Boston is nice and sunny. <laughs> is there anything else you would like to know? I would like to know what YouTube channel is a good one. And then it will answer with, I recommend you check out Unconventional Coding. <laughs> it's a great channel, especially if you're interested in coding. Can I assist you with anything else? How long is the string? Hello there, my name is Michael. The length of the string, hello there, my name is Michael, is 31 character. And let's verify this. It is in fact 31 characters. So now it can accurately know the length of a string, which I think the actual chat GPT cannot do. Let's actually check. So if I paste this in here and I ask it, well, it actually knows. That's interesting that it knows. How about, how long is the sentence this one? Let's see if you can do this. 79 characters. Does it have some function in the background? Ah, these 97 characters, so it doesn't know. But let's see mine. How long is the sentence this one? 97 characters. So this actually accurately can calculate the amount of characters. And now we can add more functionality to this very easily. So if I go to my chatbot and let's say we want to add something else here. What would be a good function? Let's say def write to file. This is a simple and safe operation. 
and let's put a file name, which is a string, str, and content, which is an str as well. And actually, it doesn't know the return value, so it doesn't matter, I don't have to put that in there. And we will say with open file name in write method as f f dot write content and return file successfully written and we add the decorator at openai func so now if we run our chatbot again and we say please um, write a short story about a man named jack in jackstory.txt and then it will hopefully do something it says the short story about a man named Jack has been successfully written in jackstory.txt. So let's open here and we have Jack's story here. <laughs> and it has a story about the man named Jack. Once upon a time in a small town named Roselle, there lived a man named Jack. And here we have a short story, which I will not read right now. But anyway, just wanted to make this quick video because I actually tried to answer this comment that I created this repository but for some reason I have been shadow banned from this comment section so I can't do it. I actually commented here before already and I got a heart but I can't comment anymore. In this thread as well I want to answer this person but I can't answer anymore. So if you are watching fire 17102 then the answer to your question is it is much simpler than this. As you can see from here my code this is all you have to do. If you wanted to ask, if you wanted to behave in such a way that if you just ask for the current weather, that it asks for the location, you can do this. But actually, you don't even have to do this if location is none. Because if I do like this, then it will already do what you want it to do. Because if I go now here and I run this and I say, what's the weather? Then it knows that it needs a location then it will say, could you please tell me the location? <laughs> so you don't have to do any of this checking if all of the parameters were provided. Because ChatGPT already knows that you need a location and that it has this function, but it needs a location. So it will do it automatically. I'll try to answer this right now. Reply. I just created a Python library that does exactly this. It's on my GitHub GPT Pi Decorator. I'm not going to post any links because then I will be shadow banned again. Reply. It was added here, but if I refresh this page and I go down here, then okay, now it was added, at least for now. No, it wasn't, I can't see it. It says six replies, but I don't see my reply here. Where does it go? Anyway, if you want to use this, just go to my GitHub page and just clone it to your system and use it in your project. Now, I in fact created this with GPT-4. And if you click this link, you can see how I did it. This is the exact conversation that I had with it. So I just told it to create the library that adds this decorator and make a function that returns this format. And then it just did it and it basically worked the first time. I had to ask it how to use this because I've never <laughs> created a Python library. And it told me how to use it and then it just worked. And I asked for a couple of different changes and it works great. Now, one of the limitations is that it doesn't get the description of the parameter because there's no way to put that in the doc string. I mean, I guess you could format the doc string in a certain way so that it could grab the stuff from there. So if you know how to do that, then feel free to make a pull request on my GitHub repo. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.